Okay, so like, so sorry, the last video like got cut off because there's some limit on the camera. There's like eight minutes. So, okay, so take a look. Uh, there are some tokens here. Yep. Okay, uh, nice pack of silica gels. So as I mentioned, the cards are probably not going to open it. But you can like take a look at the cover. Like this is the one you can use. Born from pain. If you suffer any red, gain one blue for each red suffer. So like this is a two and I can place this card for one green. Okay. Very mobile artwork. Lovecraftian almost. Okay, so this is like silk. Because it's like I think it's a secret deck. There's a maybe after you are power. Okay, we take a look at the figurine itself. So this is the normal version of the fifth player. Like totally before she powers up into the second form. As you can see very very high quality and thing in fact better than uh, some of the other board games. Okay, and this is probably the power up version. Well, I can imagine how cool this will look after painted. Not sure if I have the skill to do it though. So we'll see how that goes. Okay, and then this is this would be like what we have for the fifth player. I'll, I'll open up another box. First, let me put this back in. Okay, again, nice artwork. Okay, let's put that aside. So we have another box. Uh, okay, so this is the creatures of Edifuse. From my understanding, this is uh, all the figurines. So, Let's take a look. Okay, it's gonna be a little bit hard for me to like cut with one hand. Hey. So we have a very nice sheet that actually tells you uh, what goes back where. I think this is very useful. The complaint is that a lot of games have a lot, a lot of similar figurines and you never figure out how to put them back. Okay, the nice same cover. Okay, so probably I'm not going to go through every single miniature. Um, let's go through some of the bigger ones because I think they're really really looking great. So. Let me just bring it closer. Okay, so we have this. Hmm. Some sort of like dream beast, I guess. Okay, I think I didn't really get a name. I haven't read any of the clue book or anything. So, but you can see like, this is definitely very high detail and I suppose it's a big challenge to paint miniatures like this. Okay. So we have this uh, dragon looking one. Let's take out this. Okay. So let, let me just try to run through some of these um, different miniatures, you know, uh, different from other videos. Because they probably like, you know, zoom in on all the more spectacular ones. I actually like this a lot. I've seen this uh, in other videos as well. Um, it almost reminds you of death. You know, and bird-like, almost Egyptian tone to it, right? Okay. Uh, let's take out one more. How about this? Does this look good? Okay. So this looks massive. You know, like it's a combination of uh, monsters and machines, very much like. Uh, you know, the, uh, the person who designed Aliens will be proud of this, I guess. You know, very similar style. This almost looks sci-fi, right, doesn't it? Yeah. Okay. 
so just have a quick go through the rest now this looks really good yeah well if you like painting I guess there's a lot of a nice miniatures here nice chance for you to like paint it and there are more coming soon so what you will not see is that you know, if you didn't get the sundown version this will be the the version that is uh, in full grey so in terms of painting you probably will like have to uh, use a, a different color primer to indicate that you actually like prime all the areas you know especially like in between here and yeah, in between here so a different color will be good if you're using a gray primer you might have some problems uh, knowing whether you, uh, you are fully covered so that's the strategy so this box mainly is just all the miniatures let me just leave the box to see if there's anything below okay so no surprises so it's really just the creatures okay let me put this back and I'm gonna say nice shit I might decide to laminate this after all because it's like it looks good laminated I guess and now finally to the core box so the core box is one heavy 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 box and uh, so let me try to open this uh, the best way I could oh looks like he has already done the job on his own okay. I'll just open this up. I guess you really have to be a little bit more careful like carrying this around because this is like totally totally heavy okay so I'm gonna like put this down when I lift the box up because it's pretty heavy okay and I'm back so what you see here is the game manual this looks like there's a lot to read uh, from the advice I get actually um, you don't really want to read this but rather go to board game gig I think there's a quick start guide written by some other people uh, go through that and then uh, they will tell you when it will be a good time to start reading this game manual Okay, so this is the interior of the box. As you can see, even the interior is a uh, it's nice black. You know, not like the cardboard. Uh, okay, and this is the secret script. So I'm not going to flip through this, but as you can see, there's a lot of text. This like the storybooks that's in most of the other games. 